Good morning, everyone. Myself, Assistant Professor Preeti Matharu, Member of Department of Management Studies. I hope and pray that you all are doing well. I would like to welcome you all to Crossroads Guidance Session for Specialization, organized by the Department of Management Studies of Ban Sangha's SM Shifty College of Science, Commerce, and Management Studies. I would like to welcome our principal, sir, who is also our resource person for the day, Dr. Sridhar Shetty. Our second resource person for the day, Mr. Hemal Shah, who is a faculty in the Mumbai University visiting various colleges and also a sub broker at BSc. Vice principal and IQAC coordinator, Dr. Lidji Santosh. Vice principal, Professor Sandesh Shetty. BMS coordinator, Assistant Professor Nidhi Chandorkar my colleagues and my dear students. I extend a very warm welcome to you all. Our today's guidance session will help you to choose the correct specialization for yourself. As they say, you are only one decision away from a different life. Choosing specialization is an important decision in your academics and you should do a complete analysis before choosing a specialization. And our today's session will help you in this analysis. So before we proceed further, I would request our BMS coordinator, Nidhi Ma'am, to introduce the subjects to you all. Nidhi Ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Preeti Ma'am. And very aptly said, it's just a matter of one decision which you take. Uh, so I'd like to uh, discuss the subjects which we are proposing to have in the upcoming semesters. And uh, then we will go ahead with how to choose principal sir will be guiding us and uh, if, uh, the relevance of all the subjects will also be taken up by Hemal Shah sir. So I'll just uh, like to share the slide with you. As we all know that we all started with first year. In first year, we had uh, seven seven subjects that means in all 14 subjects which covered all the conceptual knowledge of uh, different types of managerial functions like uh, you had accounting financial accounting you had uh, you know fhs which gave you a hint about organizational behavior you had subjects like marketing and other uh, business environment which has given you a broad outline of what management uh, or different managerial functions are all about then after that, in second semester, we have to get introduced with the, you know, specialization. Though in second semester, we just have two subjects of specialization. That means currently we are offering marketing and finance. So out of seven subjects, two will be based on the elective, which your specialization subject, which you have chosen. And five will be the core subjects, which are important for all different types of, uh, you know, uh, people working in corporate or uh, people who are in managerial positions. In third semester, however, you will see that, you know, uh, marketing and finance will have more prominent difference. And from, uh, you know, third year onwards, you will be having subjects, uh, I mean, four subjects which are based on your elective, which you have chosen, specialization area, which you have chosen, and two subjects based on uh, your, uh, uh, this uh, uh, core, uh, that means core competencies, which are required by every manager. And the highlight of this is basically the internship, which you have to cover at the end of the uh, uh, sixth semester. That is basically, you have to cover and uh, uh, sorry, undergo an internship. And generally we suggest the students should go undergo, uh, undergo uh, this thing, internship after fourth semester. You have a break of summer vacation wherein you can do your internship, which we find it is very important, you know, for the development of the students as well as, you know, getting acquainted uh, with the real industry, how it is functioning. And the internship has to be based on your specialization area. And uh, uh, based on this internship, at the end of six semester, you have to present a project report. And VIVA will be based on that. And that will actually uh, will be a very important component of your degree as well. Now we'll see the subjects in detail of each semester. In second year, semester three, we, as I told you that we are going to have five core subjects, that means compulsory subjects. They are information technology in business management. A foundation course from third semester onwards become very specialized to management student. So we have environmental management as a foundation course. 
Then we have business planning and entrepreneurial management. As we all know, our country, our government is insisting that students should have an entrepreneurial bent. That means they should be, uh, uh, you know, be able to start their own ventures. They should be, uh, in a principal language, they should be uh, job creators. And we will be uh, giving you, you know, in-depth knowledge about uh, accounting for managerial decisions, which is again a compulsory subject and strategic management. In marketing group, we will be having two subjects in third semester, that is consumer behavior and advertising. And in finance group, we will be having basics of financial services and corporate finance. In semester four, we will be having, uh, in continuation with semester three, information technology in business management. Then a foundation course in semester four, uh, fourth will be ethics and governance. We'll be having business economics too. Then business research methods, production and total quality management. Uh, uh, other than these five core subjects, we will be having marketing electives as integrated marketing communication and event ma marketing. In finance group, we will be having foundation, uh, sorry, financial uh, institutions and markets and corporate restructuring. In uh, semester five, as I told you, that uh, the number of core subjects will reduce and there will be clear distinction between the specialization areas. In marketing, we will be having services marketing, e-commerce and digital marketing, sales and distribution management, customer relationship management. In financial, in finance group, we will be having commodity and derivative markets, investment analysis and portfolio management, wealth management, and uh, one second, risk. risk management. Yeah. Then in six semester, the core subject will be only one, but uh, uh, there will be one project which is based on your specialization area. The core subject will be operations research, which will help you in making decision using mathematical tools. In marketing group, we will be having international marketing, retail marketing, brand management, media planning and management. In finance group, we will be having strategic financial management, uh, international finance, project management, innovative financial services. So these will be the subjects based on the electives which we are offering. So uh, that's it from my side, Preeti ma'am, uh, please go ahead. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, providing the information related to the subjects that the students will be studying in their second and third year. Uh, now I would like to call uh, Principal, our principal, Dr. Sridhar Shetty, to guide the students to choose the correct specialization for them. Over to you, sir. Uh, good morning to all. Our uh, resource person today, Mr. Hemal Shah, Vice Principal, uh, Dr. Lidji Santosh, Dr. Sandeep Shetty, uh, BMS Coordinator, Professor Nidhi Chandrurkar. My colleagues from the department, uh, Preeti Matharu, Steffi Salve, CA Zainab Rangawala, Mr. Havish, and Mr. Hamid Khan, and all my dear students. Dear students, you have taken admission last year in SM Shetty College. But the most unfortunate thing is that we have not seen you physically because of the pandemic. Most unfortunate. College, classrooms, teachers, library, canteen, playground, all integral part of our education system. As a principal, as a teacher, it's quite painful to understand that you are deprived of that opportunity. But this situation, not only for India, but for the entire globe, that is the satisfactory aspect. Okay. The thing is, the show must go on. Therefore, you are now going to be in the second year. The process of admission will begin from 17th onwards. And afterwards, uh, we have to choose your uh, specialization also. I'm really very much delighted about uh, the coinage crossroads. 
yeah really at the crossroads you are not uh, on the highway now highway means vision is possible for the next to 2 kilometers but at the crossroads it is very difficult when i come across the word crossroads i'm always fascinated to speak about you on the robert frost also just a flash to my mind the excellent uh, poem written by robert frost an american poet when i was in first year bcom i think nearly nearly 40 years ago my teacher taught uh, that lesson teacher is no more but the impact is still there okay poet says i am going through a jungle and i reached a particular place where in uh, my my passage took a diversion one is the trodden path and other one is the untrodden path trodden path means so many people might have gone there other one uh, rarely a few has taken that route and uh, the poet through the teacher tries to motivate the students in the classroom take certain amount of risk in your life maybe calculate develop the appetite for risk and take the untrodden path so poet says that i have taken the untrodden path nobody has gone in that route and finally eventually i met with the gold mines there therefore therefore you are not at the highway but at the crossroads but the point uh, dear students is that there are a few people few students who are the born marketeers for you you are not at the crossroads you are on the highway no 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 confusion at all for you no dilemma at all you and some students are born financiers you are also not at the crossroads because uh, almost your decision is uh, crystal clear that i am going to choose finance as my specialization and there are a few maybe 40% of out of 142 students i think uh, it is right to call you as fence sitters it means uh, 40 45% you are tilting once towards marketing 40 45% you are tilting towards uh, finance and you do not have proper right kind of information to take the decisions in this context this webinar is arranged for you at least we can give the guidance guidance sign post to which area to select therefore a born marketer no problem at all a born financier no problem at all but as rightly said in the beginning this one decision will make a difference in the long run in your in your career in your personality my second point dear students bms students intelligent students you can take the decisions my point is that never ever choose the specialization from the examination point of view that it is easier never do it if at all you do this take the decision that would be the greatest blunder of your career never ever do or take the specialization from the examination point of view that marketing is easy or finance is easy never do that never do it therefore therefore i think 2 3 years ago we have brainstormed properly and we have given difficult chapter Uh, subjects in your sy and ty in the finance we have deliberately skipped income tax and we have given you the derivatives because it is very very important income tax we can teach within two weeks all the fundamentals of it not a problem at all therefore from the career point of view dear students one more point can you make an assessment of your personality your age is 18 can you make a kind of swak analysis of, of your personality whether i am apt for marketing whether i am apt for finance i think 60% will depend on that 60% will depend on that 
marketing or finance your second swak analysis here your aptitude is very important aptitude is very important your inclination is very very important both the areas are very important no doubt at all for example in an economy both finance and marketing are interwoven in such a way that one cannot be separated from the other from the other for example take infosys infosys there are also business development people and they belong to the marketing side they have to go to north america they have to go to european union so many other places and they have to sell it sell it of course of course see of changes have taken place in the field of marketing and also in the field of finance now one more point i think hemal shah is going to brief about that is it possible now to see the bigger map in the smaller map itself is it possible to see the bigger map in the smaller map itself what do you mean by that is it possible to see india after 10 years now after 10 years now the possibility of finance the possibility of marketing i think mostly it may tilt towards finance mostly okay now as far as marketing is concerned as far as finance is concerned both are amenable for your masters degree mba mba inside marketing mba inside finance like that like that like that handling of investments finance area and management of funds not uh, 1 crore or 2 crores several crores it is several crores just open the internet and see the stories of junjunwala and uh, uh, ramkrishna uh, dhamani etc etc they are saying with 10 lakhs of investment how you can create wealth within 10 years 100 crores they did it they did it even we know that far to certain extent some extent but uh, uh but we are not in a position to make that part because uh, fortune is not written properly on our forehead that is the point we have the knowledge thoda uh, uh, fortune did not smile at us sufficiently so then uh, uh, management of debt analysis etc etc and in india the insurance sector the stock market sector i think maybe the growth is just 8 10% not more than that the population involved i am wondering i was uh, just uh, talking humorously with our uh, uh, resource person mr hemal shah hemal shah you have grown very fat and uh, and the last time uh, during the pandemic uh, the the nifty has come down around 8000 i think then uh, within 3 4 months it went up to 15000 nearly 15000 and there are few shares which uh, jumped six times the best bet is uh, even uh, tata motors from 63 rupees to 356 rupees and there is one new company adani green and it came to 130 then uh, after six months uh, it was 1230 we are just observing it uh, yeah yes so so the areas the finance area the stock market area the insurance area and if you want to go to the finance area you must be analytically strong if you talk less also it's not not it's okay it's okay but analytically you should be very very strong is it is it possible to play with the figures what we call it as number crunching number crunching so then then inquisitive mind inquisitive mind today we are talking about junjunwala but when we started his career long long back and many times with the, i think economic times he was a chartered accountant and along with one more from chartered accountant they slept thinking in a marine drive overnight that was the situation long long back today of course there are different people different people so the finance area banking area insurance area mutual fund area 
stock market consultant etc etc and you are always in the midst of money only <laughs> money only just i gave the clue to you that's all always always <laughs> okay now portfolio management hedging of funds risk management study of financial institutions banking sector so many banks i think uh, opportunities actually overwhelming in the field of finance in the field of finance so uh, i think hemal shah is going to brief on that so this is about the finance area now coming to marketing marketing the consumer behavior i think those areas have been changed everything is now available in the net only the features of the product and all that if you open and put uh, write the name of some uh, medicine and all that uh, its pros cons everything is available i think there are some people without consulting the doctor they are taking the medicines so marketing has grown to that extent to that extent e commerce digital marketing b2b b2c steps which i studied totally has become redundant so promotion and sales even advertising corporate branding corporate branding market research market research some definite skills are required here that skills may not be required in finance one is uh, one is uh, your logic your creativity and your imagination imagination especially in the field of marketing for example i was quoting this example in some other occasion also the right brothers in 1905 they just thought of a bird they were repairing the cycle by the side of a road they thought why can't we why can't we fly like birds the idea idea and they added engineering for that so imagineering imagineering so that kind of creativity that kind of imagination understanding the consumers markets etc absolutely important and some people are born with such talents born with such talents therefore in the beginning i made the comment some are born marketeers and some are born financiers and in those cases they are not at the crossroads you are on the highway only your decisions crystal clear then retail marketing digital marketing etc so these are the some of the areas and uh, take some time take some time and uh, think about the future and uh, make the pros and cons but never ever take the decision from the examination point of view analyze your aptitude analyze your personal traits personal traits your communication your analytical skills etc and also try to see the bigger map in the smaller map i will once again uh, make it very clear what do you mean by that is it possible to see india 10 years down the line 10 years down the line so after gathering all these informations find to the information narrow down and ultimately you have to tick either finance or marketing that would be your final decision and once you take the decision dear students there should not be any repent repentance why because you are going to marry either marketing or finance i think with this uh, i wish this uh, function a, 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 a what's called as uh, rich enough to convey the message to our students so thank you thank you so much thank you so much sir for your uh, wise words guiding the students students if you have any uh, questions you can post it in the chat box we will be taking the questions at the end we also have with us uh, today himal shah sir he is the director at uh, chl stock concepts private limited 
He is a visiting faculty in various colleges and has an experience in financial markets of over 15 years as a sub broker and also as a financial consultant. So now I would like to call him to discuss the career opportunities and the rationale of specialization subjects. Over to you, Heman, sir. Thank you, ma'am. As uh, Principal Sir rightly said, and he has covered it absolutely uh, very well uh, said, that marketing and finance goes hand in hand. We cannot distinguish or we cannot separate it from each other. So let's take an example as you have come across it. I am a broker at BSE. I'm a sub broker at BSE. I started the journey somewhere in early 2000, 2002, where there were hardly 10 clients in a firm with me when I started my career. That 10 friends were my obviously friends, neighbors on in network. Taking the journey from 10 clients to 150 clients in the next two years, it's not that financial skill had made me, you know, uh, have that many clients. I also required marketing skills to pull clients from trading with other brokers to trade at my end as well. So trust me, I'm always called as financial broker, but I know without marketing skills, I wouldn't be able to reach to this obviously level, which I'm handling more than five crores of uh, fund value uh, of the clients and more than 150, I can say families with me. So before I go ahead in the job opportunities or I go with respect to the subject wise discussion, I would just like to, you know, ask you one question. Where do you see after TYBMS? Once your TYBMS last exam is over, you get up next day morning. What do you see? You are obviously completely free. You don't have any assignments, projects, any lecture, any timetable, nothing. But have you thought about it today that why, where you want to see yourself in which segment, marketing or finance. So if I give you a small case study, probably you will be able to answer it yourself at your end. I'll just take a small example, Reliance Geo, right? Somewhere in 2014, 15, it just struck in Mukesh Ambani's mind that I should also enter into telecom sector. He was already earning 8,000 crore per quarter. Reliance profit was 8,000 crore per 90 days per quarter. He was already into oil business. He was already into coming into a retail segment and many more. It's now conglomerate. But entering into telecom sector where we already had Reliance Communication, we had Vodafone and we had established players, he decided to invest 35,000 crore. What was Reliance Geo project? 35,000 crore. So if one of you want to know how did he manage to raise this 35,000 crore? How did he manage to invest and think about getting it at break-even point to recover this 35,000 crore? He had a plan of four to five years, which he is going to get a break-even somewhere in 21, 22. So planning for next five years, handling a project of 35,000 crore, you need to have certain understanding about the investments and your obviously uh, getting returns on those investments. But an, alone, just going to the bank or asking to the shareholders to get 35,000 crore, it was an easy task for him because he was already well-established brand and people were ready to give him additional funds. But along with it, he had one more skill which was needed to penetrate in the market of telecom where already Bharti and Vodafone, Reliance Communication, and there were many more at that point of time but to penetrate and get customers across the you know, market, across Pan-India level was the biggest challenge. So students, I would like to give you this example right now. If you can get you know, uh, you know, at your, yourself anxious about, you, do you want to make the customer base grow, marketing, pro production, I mean, I can say the packaging or the branding or selling of those, you know, uh, those SIM cards to each and every Indian citizen and somewhere if you are attracted towards how did he manage that 35,000 crore that is the answer which you will get it whether I should go towards marketing or finance. So I know it's very early stage for you to decide your career but what excites you? You have to work for next 30 years of your life in a particular segment and you have to take decision right now. It's 
okay if you are still not sure it's okay if you choose marketing and then you want to do mba in finance or you suppose you do M uh, finance item and do mba in marketing both the skills are handy at the end of the day it is where you see yourself in which department i'll just take a small one more example this reliance geo now has more than 4 millions of customers every month more than 2.7 3.7 is the average i can say per month who is getting these customers how is it getting those customers shifting from vodafone or airtel or maybe any other uh, telecom company so somewhere we all know that it is not an easy task to be a marketing manager or to be a sales manager at regional level then come to state level and then come to district level but there is ample of opportunities for you to make a career it is not that that only a financial guy can be a more successful than a you know marketing that's just the perception you can be a regional head you can be at a very high level of post if you obviously happen to have that skill of communication and marketing skills basically that you will obviously have once you spend time in that particular segment just a small example we have a uh, issue somewhere in 2015 maggi where people were really apprehensive about eating maggi somewhere in may or june 2015 obviously company sales dropped company had obviously lot of investments done and we all were scared obviously to buy maggi how did it came back within 6 months how did it improve its sales and did its branding again that it is safe to have it's a nice case study to you know go through in your free time please do type maggi case and you will get lots of case studies to read but trust me without marketing managers without branding without all those team we will not be able to grow to this level when market cap was only 10000 crore maggi and nestle product i'm talking about a 10000 crore company has now reached to 40000 crore company a stock price of 5000 at that time is now 17000 let's not talk about stocks but i'm talking about the market value so 40000 crore company today is not that e easy so i am just telling you first of all both the segments are important are having ample of opportunities in future where do you see yourself five years down the line is the most important question you need to answer today before you choose marketing or finance for marketing people you need to have certain skills today you need to be open to meet people communication skills if you really know how to use facebook to market yourself to market a particular product you really know how to use instagram you seriously can have a good blog writing you are good in writing small you know kind of a uh, you know your opinion on a particular topic trust me you are made for marketing you should be uh, you know a uh, pro social user with all the filters or all the kind of features available in facebook which i have hardly used it or i hardly use instagram to market my product but trust me you will be you are made for marketing if you are very much pro on the social media uh, you know apps plus digital marketing is the next pro is the next important thing for next 5 years all the listed companies all the private limited companies if they do not adopt digital marketing trust me they will be vanished for next 5 years they might be able to survive post that they won't be able to survive so somewhere if you see that you are good in writing blogs on twitter on a certain platform or maybe facebook or maybe insta then probably you can be uh, into journalism you can be into advertising you can be into many other uh, you know career opportunities which i'll come to next in next 10 minutes but you are really curious to know that how much debt or how much investments or how many how much amount of money has been raised by nestle to handle such kind of business or a 35000 crore is just a small debt of reliance geo but somewhere last may it was 1 lakh crore loan 1 lakh crore of loan on mukesh amani's shoulder how was he handling how could he sleep peacefully even after having a 1 lakh crore of debt on his shoulders so somewhere he would still be able to win the trust of the investors that he will be able to make money and give you your obviously your returns on your investment and if that really excites you the balance sheets the profit and loss and the you know the debt equity ratio 
all those things, then really you are made for finance. You want to really know how do people lend, what decisions it make for people to invest in a business, what way companies can raise funds. That's all stored for you in SEM 4, 5, and 6, or 3, 4, 5, 6, I can say. You would be introduced to lots of instruments. I can say instruments, a lot of securities, how to raise funds in the market. How does this startup begin? By juice. By juice, you obviously come across every now and then. Just had one cup of tea with Warren Buffet and he got 3,500 crore within one 20 minutes or 30 minutes meeting. 3,500 crore of investments coming in. What kind of presentation of figures he must have shown that Warren Buffet is really interested in Baidu's. We have now Vedanta, we have One Academy, we have a lot of other obviously startups coming up. But if that segment really excites you, then you are made for finance. So students, the first important question for you all is, where do you see five years down the line, 10 years down the line? Maybe obviously India is where, well, but I've already cleared it out that marketing has equal amount of opportunities as compared to finance segment. Hardly two crore of population of India has DMAT accounts who invest in financial markets or invest in shares or commodities. Two crore of population having DMAT accounts of the 100 crore population which we have. Imagine how much amount of money is still to be raised or invested. But to approach those clients, convince those clients, we need a marketing manager in every financial firm. And once the marketing firm grows, we need a financial manager to make it grow in hand in hand. That's what Principal Sir was obviously uh, giving you a hint that it doesn't matter whatever you choose, but see to that you see your career for next five years, 10 years, or 20 years down the line, you are happy in that space. One small example, I, as I always take, Kellogg's. Somewhere 10 years ago, when Kellogg's entered the market, it was already competing with Indian mentality that we would like to have a breakfast which is hot, which is unhealthy. I am talking about alu paratha with that butter or maybe idli or butter dosa, what all Indians used to have earlier. But it changed the perception only because of marketing team that now you need a healthy India, a fit India, and you need some nutrients or some kind of proteins in the morning. To change that perception of India, it took four years, five years. Initially, company was in loss. They decided to withdraw the product because people felt there was some unethical uh, thing inside those catalogs, which Indians did not accept it. They cleared the air. And that's where the marketing team comes into play, where they brought the product again with a different branding, different packaging, and different perception that it's a healthy breakfast. And that made company grow more than 50,000 crore to 1 lakh crore today. So friends, initially, I'm talking friends, why? Because I'm your a philosopher. I'm still not a professor for you all right now. But trust me, even at your age, we were really confused, to be honest, that whether we will be uh, you know, successful in what stream. But somewhere you have the exposure, you have everything in front of you on your fingertips. We didn't have smartphones. We didn't have that much you know, exposure towards internet to read about the different case studies. But do read Kellogg's, do read Maggie, do read Reliance Geo articles, and you will come to know that maybe you are happy towards marketing skills or marketing you know, uh, the segment, or maybe handling a finance of 12 lakh crore. What is the Reliance market cap today? Richest, obviously, I can say the uh, company on the stock exchange, 12 lakh crore. Can you imagine what kind of balance sheet they would be making it to, you know, get that those kind of, you know, figures fit in in a particular uh, report, annual report, which they make? A 12 lakh crore balance sheet, really, it's difficult. What's the profit lands made last year? 50,000 crore. 50,000 crore is, I mean, I can say, sorry, uh, 50,000 crore in a quarter, I can say, year on year basis. 50,000 crore profit coming. Imagine what kind of skills do you need to prepare your journal entries and your ledgers and your balance sheets. But I will not scare you with figures. If you don't really understand that, that's fine. But you could work in a financial department where you had obviously a particular skill to help investors invest, help investors raise funds. So either finance can be lending or borrowing. Either you work in a borrowing department where you help a company to raise funds or you help a uh, company to invest funds. That's what Sir was talking about with a lot of obviously pointers he has covered with mutual funds and hedge funds and you know share market. But 
before we create any kind of you know confusion at your end i have given you the case studies where a small to small i can say district a small to small area where we have that banner of reliance geo the way they have done marketing the way they have you know sold themselves and now bringing it at a profit level it's an unbelievable case study even after having such kind of obviously well settled market players like bharti airtel and vodafone coming to the point i'll just sum up in a way where you understand you for a financial scale you don't need to be a good you know the match which you have studied in school but you should be able to understand the percentages because every time when you talk about finance you talk about percentage return or interest or you know the way we, we talk about with, with respect to percentages or additions and subtractions you don't need your derivatives or limitations or integrations here you need to play with figures that's what sir told you you need to be a good analytical skills trust me just one example i'm talking about uh, asian paints do you really think that asian paints is a business which will survive for next 10 years yes the only one thing which they have started is they will come to your home and paint your house what an amazing idea you are eliminating all the middlemen just give a miss call paint your house within you know next 2 3 days and done what sales they have given what kind of uh, you know business uh, uh, future for forecast earnings they have it's unbelievable that's what if you are able to analyze you will be able to invest or help people invest and buy asian paint for next 10 years it's going to make money if whatever dreams mr modi shows us that is going to build 2 crore homes is going to build next 35000 crore of uh, highways national highways we are going to connect mumbai and delhi and bangalore 35000 kilometer 35000 kilometer of obviously this is going to build up imagine what kind of steel and what kind of uh, you know i can say electricity or what kind of paints will be required to complete the project of house and obviously complete the project of those highways if you have such kind of analytical uh, things probably in your mind you are made for finance coming to the tybms level i've talked a lot about the future coming to the next two years you would be learning about equities commodities currencies you can make and choose a career amongst equities commodities or currencies or bonds you can be a wealth manager people will pay you some percentage of their income to create wealth in return for them that's called wealth managers every bank requires wealth managers so tybms students all banks will obviously welcome you with open hands if you know a bit of wealth management portfolio management we require money we require portfolio managers to handle the money for next 4 years 5 years 10, 10 years down the line every doctors every lawyers every professionals are making money but they hire a professional for handling their portfolio that's what we call portfolio management services for this you require the basic knowledge which your finance subjects gives you which is very well obviously presented by ma'am and sir so if you look into that financial world you need to understand the investment and returns when we come to marketing i know that major cities like mumbai delhi bangalore or other cities which i can say are very well saturated and people are trading with two or three brokers when i go to the second tier cities or the third tier cities let's say surat let's say kanpur or let's say lucknow or let's say amritsar where still lots and lots of opportunities are there to market your financial products and that's why i would hire a marketing manager in my financial firm who would be able to communicate convince people to open an account and then trade with my financial knowledge so every financial firm or broking firm hires advertising managers and hires branding managers create a logo or create a kind of a social media platform where people obviously follow my pages so somewhere i need a good journalism i can say a journalist basically who could write good amount of matter and be it that kind of obviously excitement to market my financial products so somewhere social media journalism advertising marketing branding all those things comes into play with respect to your marketing segment so there a lots of theories there when you choose this subject be prepared for a lot of theories lot of concepts and lot of laws lot 
respect of laws comes in respect to your marketing subjects when i come to financial subjects yes some paper have weightage up to 20 to 30 percent sums but rest 60 to 70 percent is also theory but which are concepts which are very short answers very small answers but which are concepts so when you are writing a finance paper it's not only sums out of six subjects or you know five subjects we study maybe one subject would be having full sums rest all have theory so in finance also we have theories we have concepts and in marketing also we have theories and concepts and laws right you are well aware with the you know the paper format with the curriculum and everything the only thing which you have to choose is once you are out out of ty you want to work in an advertising firm you want to work in a marketing firm or you want to work somewhere in you know production or somewhere in sales or would you like to approach a bank work in a financial institution and obviously see to that you are able to handle the client's money either he is ready to invest in another firm or you are investing on behalf of him somewhere in any of the financial products both the markets for india are going to boom with digital marketing we are requiring digital obviously marketing managers and at the same time when i see during the last pandemic the only thing which was open was share market every month one and a half lakh dmat accounts have opened consecutively for eight months one and a half lakh dmat accounts how do i market it myself i know it and i required obviously people to still go and you know ask uh, i mean open accounts one and a half lakh dmat accounts with the help of marketing managers that money flowing into the markets and making my markets go from 25000 to today 50000 that's what our principal sir has told you that goes hand in hand but in which department you see that's the most important thing finally just to and and uh, uh, with a small case study i guess we have air india uh, to be you know auctioned or sold and some prospective buyers are needed for uh, you know buying that stress related company 40000 crore debt of uh, air india jet airways is again another company which is in stress somewhere tatas and their team are analyzing whether i should invest in either air india or jet airways what kind of data figures and analysis they would be going through right now since last 6 months before taking their final decision yes we are ready to buy a stress related a stress uh, this asset company worth 40000 crore of debt imagine that kind of analysis is required by you in financial firm whether to buy a loss making company or not and coming to the marketing obviously once i see just two days back go air change its name to does anyone know go air change its brand it's a logo to go first what made go air change in such a pandemic situation where no one is flying and 20 30% only the air traffic is there rest all it's obviously uh, you know people are not traveling that much what made that company change their brand go first really at this point of time they have enough for free time to restructure themselves rebrand themselves and obviously come to the market with fresh name and fresh obviously thing and they are obviously raising funds also from the market but that's what i'm saying in a firm both the teams are working together we need skills to handle each individual department and that's what this subjects will give you so i'll just share you with you all a particular uh, this job opportunities which we have in marketing and finance and then i'll open up for some questions right so we have advertising as a main thing in our marketing we need to advertise our product so you need you, you work in a advertising agency you work as an advertising director art director you have a creative assistant i as a financial broker really need obviously to market my website to market my obviously the financial products in such a way that it attracts customers at least to go through and read those obviously products so we have marketing promotion specialist we have media how much brand how many products does hindustan unilever sell more than 1000 products 1000 products need to be marketed i obviously have a much bigger marketing team than to handle a 3 and a half lakh crore company 
what is the market value of hindustan unilever 3 and a half lakh crore lakh ka six zeros and crore ka seven zeros still i have to have a marketing team to handle my 1000 crore of obviously 1000 uh, products sorry market uh, 1000 products i need a media assistant i need a promotions manager i need brand marketing brand manager strategist assistant all those things now i see salman khan somewhere since last 5 years in thumbs up and suddenly i see in next year in pepsi what kind of idea do we have to see that somewhere ranveer singh is taken into obviously thumbs up and suddenly we see salman khan drinking pepsi seriously all those strategies and all those promotional activities is really a case to study that what made company pepsi to hire an expensive actor like salman khan at this age of his life right so it's a case to really study which i a financial guy really don't have to understand but i still enjoy him seeing having pepsi and i don't know what companies made them higher at such a uh, level right for finance obviously i'm talking about we have uh, to have a post graduation in finance we have mba in finance and mba in marketing as well once you complete mba in finance i would see you as a research analyst you would be picking stocks for me and a marketing team would be getting me one and a half lakh demat accounts every month one and a half lakh demat clients are ready my research analyst is ready i am broker i always have a happy smile because i know i am going to get my commission so i have a marketing team getting clients i have a research analyst analyzing stocks for me he would be a fundamental analyst or he could be studying charts once you study technical analysis you are hired for commodities currencies and equities trust me sorry you are ready to be hired in three markets right you are ready to be hired in three markets one technical analysis course co equities commodities and currencies and you are really paid well if you complete a normal marketing uh, technical analysis course in the market you have portfolio management services pms right all banking and financial institutions all brokers motilal sher khan icici hdfc all have pms services you need to be an mba in finance first it could be from any college it could be any college in the sense it could be uh, you know a uh, i can say correspondence as well but you need to be an mba in finance or you need to be at least cfp or a cfa certified financial analyst or cfp certified financial planner you could work in a wealth management department you can handle a company's ipo you can handle a company's ipo initial public offer where companies come to raise funds and finally we have broking firm may you always see on the screen that a guy is on the telephone is buying and selling stocks that's a guy who is a dealer i have almost 10 dealer ka requirement as of today 10 dealers i need whom i am ready to pay more than 30000 per month as of today 30000 per month slowly he'll become an institutional dealer buying for bigger companies i'll pay him more than 1 lakh per month and somewhere hni dealer similarly 1 lakh per month he'll be earning just to buy and sell stocks or commodities or currencies on stock exchange trust me you need to be just an mba in finance from a normal uh, uh, you know reputed college i can say a correspondence would also do right so somewhere we see the difference you are working at a back office where you are trying to create a brand image for a company and somewhere you are handling money or finance for the company and finally we have lot of other opportunities as well as i told you dmat where you open your shares dmat account department you don't need to be an mba for this client relationship manager a normal ty bms student will be absorbed no mba for this you can work in compliance securities law once you do a securities law obviously from any of the colleges and a risk management department here also i do not require a mba in finance but there is an exam call a uh, b r r f m that is a uh, risk management okay so there's a risk management exam uh, which uh, you have to give if you can't clear that it's okay but still you would require normal ty bms degree where i take you into my risk management department you handle branch wise uh, obviously uh, offices i guess i just give you an example under motilal there are 80 branches under that 80 branches there are more than 4 lakh clients 
to handle those 4 lakh clients i need a risk management department so as ma'am has already told you we already have a subject with respect to that in sem 6 somewhere so you will study risk management at that point of time right so i have spoken about wealth management portfolio management i have spoken about technical analysis or fundamental analysis all of them is introduced in this amazing course obviously in sem 5 and 6 you would be introduced to a certain level you obviously require advanced courses along with it side by side as i told you cfp cfa or obviously md in finance to get a job opportunity to reach to that particular destination where you see yourself maybe five years seven years down the line with respect to marketing trust me you could be into journalism mass media or obviously into any financial firm doing marketing activities any production form or any manufacturing form or sales form or any kind of a startup where you would be working under these heads right so first of all student i would just like to conclude that first have a planning that are you okay to handle those balance sheets and profit and loss and you know percentage and you know those concepts which are too many in numbers but very small small concepts are there or you are ready to work and analyze your skill of communication handling the you know obviously the digital marketing part and social media platforms you are made for that trust me you would be absorbed and you would be creating wonders five years seven years down the line where every form would require a digital marketer in your company right over to you ma'am and i'm open for some uh, questions as well Thank you, sir. Uh, question, uh, students, if you have any questions, you can post it in the chat box. You can ask directly as well, please. Uh, sir, maybe we can take up in the end in case they have a, a yeah, question. Yeah, sure. You can. We have a question on. answer round at the end, so we, we can take up at that time. Sure, sure. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for providing this wonderful insight on the skills which are required for a person interested in marketing and a person interested in finance. So I think that must that will certainly guide our students whether they should, you know, they should go for marketing or for finance. Thank you, sir. I would now like to call Assistant Professor C. A. Zaina Brangwala to share the various certificate courses which are provided to the students for their career enhancement. Zainab, ma'am. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, respected principal, sir, Dr. Sridhar Shetty. Uh, Vice principal, madam, Dr. Liji Santosh. Vice principal, sir, Professor Sandesha Shetty. BMS coordinator, Professor Nidhi Chandulkar. Uh, resource person for today, Mr. Hemal Shah my colleagues from the BMS department and dear students. So this event Crossroads is a very important event for BMS because it marks a demarcation in your life wherein you go in for specialization now. So the certificate courses that we are offering under BMS department and uh, for the advanced knowledge that you're going to get over and above the curriculum knowledge which is going to be provided by the syllabus as structured by the University of Mumbai. So we are doing a digit, a course, a certificate course in digital marketing. Then a certificate course we have in uh, advanced Excel, which I think most of you all have already done in F5. Then we have a certificate course in financial markets, which is done by uh, Mr. Hemal Shah himself, which gives an insight upon the total analysis of how to enter and how to trade and how to deal in the financial market. And we also have a certificate course in direct taxation. So this course in direct taxation gives you an overview as to how to address to issues regarding personal taxation of individuals. So this is a clear, clear view of uh, what advanced courses that we are offering for the betterment and the skill development of our students. So as Nidhi ma'am has already covered what syllabus is going to be there for marketing and finance, Principal Sir has already given an overview, the market prospects, the skill set required for marketing and finance. 
and Hema Shah has given us a complete a complete insight into the job opportunities in this age the market the real market stories which are happening with maybe maggi or with jio or with kellogs or with air india and the real scenario right now in the market so the ultimate question that remains for me is right now that how do we select between marketing and finance now for this question there is no yardstick or there is no definite answer but i would say that it is an individual perspective and uh, it is definitely not a group selection where friends get together and decide that okay kya lena hai so please make sure that you base your decision on your individual perspective on your interest on your strengths on your endeavors where you see yourself maybe 3 years from now 5 years from now or 10 years from now what is your passion what is your drive you will after you see within yourself you will be able to decide that where your orientation lies towards marketing or towards finance now just to uh, give you a little more idea i would say that um, as principals also clearly said do not base your decisions on mark orientation what marks you would like to see in your mark sheet in your F, sy or ty and uh, please remember that if even case you want to go for further education say you want to go for an mba or an mms there is always a choice to change your specialization in your masters that means if you have taken marketing right now you can always do mba in finance or if you have taken finance right now you can always do mms in marketing so this is not a closing scenario that if you take marketing you will be going in for marketing only there is always a cross referencing when it comes for your uh, masters also please be informed that if you make a choice in your sy say you take marketing in your sy then when you come to tiva you cannot change your specialization to finance the same specialization continues from sy to ty or if you take finance right now in F sy you cannot take marketing in ty this is one very clear uh, understanding that you should have so being marketing and finance being two sides of the same coin of course the scope after graduation in this digital age that we are there is immense scope both in marketing as well as in finance so how you can understand is whether you see yourself reading an economic times or you see yourself analyzing stocks or you see yourself doing digital marketing over you know maybe a free wifi in the mall or you know following social media apps or you see yourself analyzing annual reports of limited companies so what is your ideology what is it that you wish to do should direct you to decide whether you want to take marketing or finance so i think uh, the, coming from the bigger picture to the smaller perspective to an individual student floor level perspective and nidhi ma'am has already given an overview of the entire papers that the college is offering for marketing and finance you may go ahead to the university website university of mumbai website take the detailed syllabus and look at each and every paper all the papers of marketing all the papers of finance that we are offering look at the syllabus in complete detail see which paper attracts you the most see which terminology which concepts drag you the most towards it that will give you your own answer whether you should follow marketing or you should follow finance so my uh, with this i will hand it over back to preeti ma'am thank you very much madam thank you zarama now i would like to call assistant professor ashish navik to explain the students regarding the google form for specialization ashish sir thank you pretty much uh, for explaining the form i would just share the screen just a moment yeah 
So, dear students, this is the form which you all have to fill for selecting the specialization uh, for your coming semesters. So basically, it's a simple Google form. So very first uh, field is for email, where you can fill up your email ID. Then your first name, your last name, your contact number, your gender. Then your first preference for elective. First preference in the sense, if you are selecting finance, then select finance as the first option. Okay, and if you're not sure, then you can take finance first or marketing later on, or if you are thinking of taking finance but not marketing but not sure of finance then you you can opt for marketing in the first preference and finance in the second preference in case you have 100 percent decided that you want finance only so you select finance in both the preferences that is the first preference also finance and second preference also finance in case you are fully assured that you want to select marketing as your elective uh, in first preference, you will select uh, marketing. Also in second preference, select marketing. Then uh, enter your role number in F5 BMS. Then you can enter your percentage score in your semester one. So you can calculate the percentage score or if you don't have percentage, you can even put the grades itself. The next is if you have any ATKTs in semester one, then you just tick aside that if suppose, for example, you have ATKT in business law, tick on the business law, just select the subjects in which you have ATKT. If you do not have any ATKT, please leave it blank. Do not select anything as this field is not compulsory. The next comes the parent's name. So you can enter either of a parent's name. The Suppose if you have entered your father's name, in the next field relationship with student, you will click on father. If you have entered your mother's name, you will click the relation as mother. Or if you have a guardian, you will enter your guardian's name. You will select a relation as a guardian. The next is the parent's contact number. The name of which parent you have entered its contact number. For example, if you have entered your father's name, enter your father's contact number. Then next is the, you can say, uh, options from which you are attending the lectures, like what devices you have, just click on the devices which you have. So most everyone have a smartphone, so obviously you are going to click on that and rest other devices, if it is available with you all, please click, click on it. And second, do you have any internet connectivity? Just click on it. So this is just a small form about your selection of specialization and some additional details which is required for us. So I will share the link in our WhatsApp group in both the divisions. So once the group is, uh, once the link is shared, you can fill this form. Okay, over, over Pritima, over to you. Thank you, I So uh, just, yeah. yeah, you can maybe stop uh, screen sharing. So students, this form will be shared to you in uh, due course of time and you are requested to fill it uh, you know, it is compulsory for everyone to fill it, and he has uh, Ashish sir has very well explained you how to fill the form. And still, in case if you have any uh, difficulty while filling the form, you can call you know contact Ashish sir or Hamid sir. Now, I would like to request uh, Assistant Professor Steffi Salve ma'am to take up the questions of students, and also request the students to post in uh, their questions in the chat box. Few students have already posted and uh, others please post it. Thank you, Preeti, ma'am. Uh, so students, I hope you have got a brief uh, or a bird's eye view about uh, what specializations we offer and what are the subjects in it and uh, how to go about it. I believe, uh, you know, before filling up the form, if you have any questions, what subjects to enter in it, now is the chance for you to ask your questions to be crystal clear so that based on the form, your classes of SYBMS division and, you know, divisions will be segregated. So we have the first question here from Anish in the chat box. Uh, he, he has a question to Hamil, sir. He says that, uh, sir, I was very clear that I have to choose finance as my specialization because he is a day trader. But after listening to you, sir, I analyze myself that I have skills of a marketer. So I think I want to study both the aspects of specialization. Which one should I take up initially? 
Okay, uh, it's really great to hear that you are a day trader, but uh, trust me, day trader does not become that you are a financial expert. It is just that you are trading with the flow or maybe with some a small reading or analysis. So stick to finance, I would say, since you are excited about day trading, you would learn much better and, uh, you know, knowledge before you go into the next level of your trading. And to enhance your marketing, you will always read some books. Trust me, to have marketing skills, even I have read many books on marketing skills to enhance my marketing skills. And if I'm a marketing student, always remember you can read some basic financial books uh, based on financial knowledge. And that's what I'm trying to hint you. So you be, stick to one thing, finance, pick up some authors where you can read. I'll suggest you, uh, you can read uh, fortunes uh, and the bottom of the uh, pyramid. The Fortunes and the Bottom of the Pyramid by uh, Stephen Hawking. Uh, uh, I guess I don't remember. Prama Bijapurka. Prama yeah. Bijapurka. Yeah, so that's an amazing book to start off with. You will have books with uh, The Fortunes where all the successful entrepreneurs are there. So trust me, reading will always make you reach to another level. Trust, I, even I am a normal become graduate. When I entered the markets in 2003, I really didn't know that I would be as successful at this uh, you know level where i'll be guiding other people to invest as well i was a normal sub broker but i happened to read 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 lots and lots of you know uh, uh, books and case studies and blogs which really helped me to uh, understand a lot of life lessons and then uh, take the next step towards your uh, destination so please stick to finance you are there almost halfway if you are already into day trading you will learn a lot of financial concepts and then slowly come into long-term investing and then you will obviously see that uh, reading books will help you to uh, uh, you know have your own consultancy firm and then tap markets uh, t- tap clients and get your business uh, sorted so don't just go into marketing for you know that because you have the communication skills or like that but then you are into already finance and stick to finance Yes, next. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, Dia has a question related to a career that she wants to pursue in future. Uh, she says that she wants a career in business. And for okay. now, what shall she go with? Is there any specific uh, course for it? Or uh, how can she go about uh, it right now? So, obviously, yeah, since your question is there already that you want to be into e-commerce section and you would be into e-commerce. you know marketing side, yeah. So, probably marketing is the best thing right now. As I told you right now, just wait and watch that you get some basic knowledge so that you are prepared for MBA in marketing. And then you will come across maybe some kind of, uh, always attend some seminars or read, I mean, go through some blogs of some, you know, interview of some successful entrepreneurs you will really learn a lot of things from them so as sir told we always wait for the interview of rakesh junjunwala or warren buffet and warren buffet writes every year annual report in of his company and he gives us a lot of obviously insights how did he choose that particular stock and all so reading attending some seminars or blogs of some successful marketing you know seminars and probably choosing your marketing as a segment right now that would really help you to go towards your you know final destination so stick to marketing let ty go through you i guess work somewhere in turn after two years break i would suggest you go for an mba because what happens you are already done with your ty bms you are ready with you know lot of learning ability so you will clear mba easily you test yourself you do mba only if it is required after two or three years gap that's where you will come to know that okay it's tough to touch the books again after two years of gap and then you will really get to you know build up on your skills and required ex- accordingly you take those kind of you know courses maybe uh, you know part time mba in marketing or maybe a full time that's upon you okay yes okay so so next question is from ujwal pale and he says that he wants to pursue a career in logistics and management and right now he is confused whether he should take up marketing or finance so if i assume you are inclined towards logistics either you are exposed to that kind of you know uh, the segment or the market uh, with respect to logistics management then it would be always better to go to finance because in logistics also a lot of uh, you know calculations or operations are there uh, so i would suggest that you go for finance you will expose to many more uh, this concepts 
and then you would obviously go ahead with respect to whether to go in mba in marketing later on or maybe in some other courses but with respect to logistics and management it's better you come to finance because you'll have to handle lot of figures and calculations so you stick to finance that's what i can say okay thank you sir sir uh, there were only so many questions in the uh, chat box there, there, there is, is one question yes. from pravita uh, i think it had come okay. earlier only and okay. that question is a general perception what students have so i think uh, himal shah sir if you can come forward and clear that thing uh, her per uh, perception is my question is if i am not good in maths is it important to be good in maths for entering into finance so this is uh, generally a lot of students yeah. ask that question yeah okay so if you really don't want to use calculator uh, it's simple maths uh, additions and subtractions there is nothing more uh, you know knowledge required out of your earlier school maths which we are really scared even i was scared of maths to be honest in 11th and 12th when we have got the derivatives integration but your simple maths means additions understanding sales figures okay you need to play with figures if i come to maths yani i give you sales figure of a company profit figure of a company which you don't calculate but you can do analysis that sales are increasing profit is increasing i should invest in this business if sales are increasing profit is not increasing then probably i think that there is somewhere cost and profit are not in obviously line somewhere i should not invest in this business that kind of analysis is required but lots of figures i talk about crores and thousands and lakhs that figures if you are scared of then don't enter otherwise you would not want to calculate about you know making every financial person has to know balance sheet no every financial person need to go through that thing you need to have good analysis that's what i'm trying to say so you don't need to be a you know a mathematician to enter your simple maths you should enjoy percentages if i invest 100 rupees i get 20 rupees back i know i got 20% return that kind of analysis you require so don't get scared with maths there is not too much of maths i told you there are many concepts which are to be understood and played with your money right so i say even i am not a that great mathematician to be honest and everything is there on calci so you just need to calculate and get the answer and analyze on that so please uh, those who are scared of maths and that's why you are avoiding finance you are wrong you you can come and still clear it at a you know yeah i think it's a different kind of number game when it comes to finance it is not math what do you say priti ma'am yes yes <laughs> yes yeah. definitely i think emil sir there's some network uh -huh. issue network uh, issue uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah different kind of numbers to be on and you know some sometimes the numbers are sorry yeah i'm sorry that had in front of us all the numbers are there need to be good analytical in nature whether this company is progressing or this company is going down and i should avoid this or i should invest in it that kind of mathematical figures will come across you don't need to sit and calculate every time and even in your sem 5 or 6 you hardly do a half a page or one page sum one subject would be your and their difficult where we have that corporate finance rest all subjects are manageable Okay. Uh, so next question is by Brushali. Actually, I think she has not completed her question. She says that she likes to do creative things. Um, Brushali, can you just unmute and ask what your question is related to creativity? I have to allow please her to can. unmute once. Okay. Okay. Please raise, uh, Brushali. Please raise your hand so that we can unmute you. Uh, I think now she can. Uh, she has. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, Rishal, yes, you are audible. audible. Yeah. Yeah, sir. But, sir, I love means I am very exciting in doing marketing. But after listening your uh, guidance, I thought guidance means finance is also important that much on to and what to do okay so ha huh, so listen uh, students if i have really confused you all i wanted to tell you all that if you choose marketing and you want to enhance your skill in finance we will read financial books i will share the name of the books to start off reading as of today if you are into finance and you want to enhance your skill on marketing we can always read books and enhance our skills that's the conclusion which i'm trying to give you 
but first if you are a creative if you would like advertising you like that branding packaging or you know kind of you know creative content journalism attracts you writing blogs attract you you have a skill to you know use facebook to it's all the features and you know market a product you would be hired immediately you want to work immediately after ty it's not that uh, financial guys are really ready and walking uh, interviews are there and they will be absorbed even they have to search your job at the right uh, firm in the right place so somewhere if you are not keen into too much of uh, you know figures of finance or whatever segment which i have spoken about but you are already creative you already like the social media platforms you know just go on to instagram and you'll see so many ads so many uh, you know brands have i've started advertising i watch a small video on youtube and i get that ad i watch a small video on facebook i get that how you feel penetrated into you know that level if that really excites you then you are made up for marketing marketing does not mean only selling goods door to door it's like how you market your product at rural level so rural marketing is an amazing subject uh, in dms we have obviously integrated marketing system as a subject here so right so you will learn lot of skill building itself in your sys and tys where you will be prepared how do you know uh, amazon uh, marketed and there's one more word artificial intelligence you can do a small course on ai you know data analytics uh, course is there artificial intelligence course is there and you can always upgrade after your uh, ty is done so if you are creative you are made for marketing to be honest in finance we don't no need to be creative we need to be analytical i need to analyze what's happening around me and i'll be able to judge and take decisions time to decision yeah. thank you sir uh, latika is asking is it important to do mba after marketing i think marketing is BMS. i would so i would say in all the colleges across bcom be uh, you know your arts your science everyone I, i just say one thing do mba once in life it really opens up your decision making skills i did mba at the age of 28 and then i realized that i missed lot of things in between trust me mba is important only for you know opening up your analytical or decision making skills you will be able to take decisions lot of things because the papers are set in such a way that a lot of case studies comes across in different 14 to 16 subjects which they have in 2 to 3 years so even if you are a normal graduate do a normal correspondence i can say your manipal tripura university icfi is there wellinkers are there symbiosis are there go and hire a correspondent go and do a correspondence course but do a post graduation don't sit idle only bms degree only become the degree is not going to you know earn you that kind of uh, designation later on where you plan to reach you will always be working at a you know entry level or a clerical level so somewhere along with your bms you do a you know a marketing uh, course like digital marketing course which your college is introducing maybe later on you can do some and work somewhere uh, in an advertising agency in for finance we already have cfp and cfas which people do everyone wants to do cfa but please see the curriculum first whether you are made up for that it's a tough course it's a difficult course to clear everyone does not clear cfa that easily then it's of no use completing half right so you do cfp cfa or a normal mba so i always say that if you can't afford a you know an express or higher big do a correspondence part time mba of colleges offer you sitting at home and giving you that but that knowledge will enhance your skill what you have uh, you know acquainted from your fy to ty bms so only this graduation is not going to make you prepare for the market for market in the sense for the job uh, this market so that's what i always say do a post graduation maybe mba maybe something else but along with your this degree you need extra enhancing uh, your skills uh, extra course curricular activities which we say right sir i think to add to it uh, elatika when you come to ty we, we you know we have a lot of career guidance sessions for you so there as well you can get a clear picture of what to do in future with respect to your career okay so so the next question is by aryan ajit uh, nowadays companies prefer social media influencers over marketing agencies so where do you see social media marketing when we graduate yeah that's what i said in next 5 years we will have more of digital marketing uh, you know uh, people to be uh, in demand as compared to normal marketing guys but 
that is going to happen obviously in the cities somewhere or in the you know top tier cities we talk about the rural level penetrate level where we still don't have more of the smartphones or more of the you know internet facility that 5g or 4g which we are talking about so still there is scope for other marketing arenas as well but if you talk about in city or in obviously the metro cities or the main business centers then obviously the next five years is digital marketing and that's going to pick up and you can and hence you still have time you are still in fi by the time it actually picks up you will be there when it would be you know at a growth stage so it's okay if you see social media platform of people you have another job opportunity i can say right so there will be as a digital marketer working with along with the other marketing team it's not only which like amazon depends upon digital marketing you know they also have to do other kind of marketing so they come to a television come to radio go come to sponsorship promotions so don't just stick to digital marketing ke wohi growth hai there are many other teams required along with digital marketing that's one more department which every company is going for that social media uh, platform advertising uh, strategies so that's going to stay and grow along with other marketing uh, teams other marketing uh, this job opportunities okay sir suraj has asked a very sensitive question he has asked uh, is it true that finance is, has a better scope than uh, marketing for job opportunities i think you have answered this earlier that both of them go hand I in guess. hand but yeah yeah hand in hand yes but uh, yes initially if i say a financial guy would be paid a bit tad higher than a marketing guy but once you spend time and you obviously bring business trust me there is no stopping in that so yes a cfa would be hired at around 1 lakh a month as well maybe 1 lakh or 50 75000 and maybe a normal marketing guy might not but if you obviously happen to study from you know an international university from canada uk us and got that degree of marketing and you come here you will be equally paid for that but yes initial stages we do see some difference between finance and marketing but i was always talking about opportunities it's not that everyone get that cfa done or ca done and then they get that a uh, thing but opportunities are equal yes initially the growth is faster maybe in finance because a growing world with lot of more uh, products have been introduced with lot of more strategies and lot of awareness that's what we are seeing right and uh, with respect to marketing there is always growth to catch up at a later stage initially you will not be hired directly as a marketing manager or production manager or director you will be working at a lower level but yes you will pick up and there is equal amount of opportunity in marketing so do not get that if you are not good in finance and you still see a career in finance but you will not be reaching that success if you don't have that skill you need to have individual skill to reach to that designation of that you know ceo or uh, you know uh, this uh, um, uh, this managing of uh, this uh, company right director of a company at the end of the day your individual skills will make you reach there it's not the finance or marketing if i am into marketing if i have a skill i'll be able to climb up the stairs and reach to the top most uh, designation later on 10 years down the line so trust right. your inner skill uh, your rather than your marketing or finance segment right sir uh, nitish jha and diya thakkar i think sir has already answered uh, to your questions in his discussion so sir i think yeah we have come to the end of uh, the question and answer from the right. chat box if anyone has still has anything to ask uh, you can or you can raise your hand we we can unmute yes or otherwise we can go yeah. ahead with the uh, attendance link and uh, uh, pretty ma'am yeah yeah uh thank you so much shaman sir for taking up uh, all these you know answering all these questions i'm sure it will guide our students and thank you stephan ma'am for taking up all these questions from the chat box uh, now i would like to call assistant professor advocate hamid khan to give a formal vote of thanks hamid uh, sir wait take just a yes, minute yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, mr vim uh, <laughs> and a nice presentation quite informative answered very well and one information to the students also whether you take marketing or finance the syllabus is given by the university but sometimes the syllabus may not be exhaustive and in such cases we are going to take up a few certificate courses also both in finance and both uh, marketing to cover that deficiency 
and sometimes that certificate course is uh, course will get more weightage in the employment market also so i think in case of uh, uh, finance uh, uh, mr shah i think we are going to approach you you take that task so with this uh, i think yeah Thank you go you, ahead yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. privilege sir i am associated with you for more than i guess 5 years now yes uh, yeah, yeah. i think 6 years 6 years 6 years yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so uh, hamid sir i think you can continue now uh, thank you preeti ma'am uh, good afternoon to all uh, myself assistant professor advocate hamid khan i would like to take this opportunity to extend vote of thanks on this uh, session first and foremost i extend my gratitude toward our management and our principal sir dr shridhar shetty for sharing his knowledge and making the process for all the student easy to choose electives offered by the college and i would also like to thank our vice principals uh, dr liji santosh and uh, vice principal uh, professor sandesha shetty for uh, their presence i would like to thank uh, guest speaker mr himal shah for being so energetic and enlightening us with his ex knowledge experience and his expert analysis about the marketing and finance related subject i would like to thank uh, nidhi ma'am the coordinator of bms and my colleague teachers c is ana brangwala stephy ma'am preeti ma'am and ashish sir and i thank every participant for being such a patient listener and i hope everyone is safe at their places thank you okay thank, thank you, you so much yeah Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Students, nice the uh, attendance yeah, yeah. Uh, link has been posted in the chat box. Please uh, fill in the attendance. Yes, sir. Continue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Hemal Shah. Thank you, sir. Thank you yeah. for this opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We will continue this bondage uh, future also. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, sir. It was thank really you, very, you know, you. energetic and as uh, you know, Ahmed has said, I, yeah, very. Ahmed, I hope I was not carrying too many figures with me. I guess I have <laughs> not scared you all, but being a broker for twenty years with always figures, figures, figures in my mind. Thank you, ma'am. No, no, no. But that was very realistic. So it was very self-explanatory yes. and yes. simple. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh. Students, please quickly fill the attendance link. Uh, Do not students. leave the meeting huh. before filling the attendance. Yes. Link. Yeah. Yes, Ashish, give us the details. Yeah, I was telling them that once they are filled, they can leave the meeting. Yeah. We are waiting for others. Right. Uh, Sixty-six responses have I have received yet. Okay. Now this was actually I think not the other link, so we could have only hundred participants. Yes. 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 Oh, is it okay? 